um, I'm not that surprised. So people really don't know, I really wasn't uh, that heavy ever in my life. When I got here, <laughs> I got to the cafeterias and I just started eating like crazy and I'm lifting. And then I ended up putting on like the freshman 15, freshman 20, what they say about it is real. And I kind of just packed it on and then uh, I just took it upon myself to get disciplined and uh, really focus on my goals and that's to, you know, be a great college player and try to go to the next level. So to do that, I had to, you know, just be disciplined about how I'm eating, how I'm working out. And I just, you know, thought of myself now, I'm just trying to get ready. Was it one of those things where the coaches kind of intimated to you, or, you know, where you got hints that if you kept, you know, gaining weight that you're, they're going to move you eventually? Um, they say, you know, if you're getting pretty big, you know, unless you want to play taco, you know, kind of, you know, trim it down and you just you know, get your body right. Uh -huh. And, uh, but, I mean, when they told me, I already, I already was in, like, in the working of, you know, making okay. that happen. So, I wanted it bad enough, so it was no problem for me. Regardless of, you know, I mean, obviously you've lost weight, but you're still a bigger guy than, than CT and Randall. Like, does that give you, I and mean, you kind of play a different tight end spot than them, right? Does that... I mean, it gives you more opportunities to get on the field since, I mean, there's three of you guys, so obviously, you know, maybe one or two guys are going to get lost um, in the shuffle regularly. Is that I mean, cool? Yeah, more of a, you know, a classic tight end, you know, big, strong, come off the line, and block. So, I mean, I can run routes and catch balls too, so I'm, I'm kind of versatile. I can do a lot of things, and uh, I'm just looking forward to getting on the field and uh, make a difference however I can. Are you guys all close yeah. to each other? Yeah, me and Randall CT, we're all good friends. Mm -hmm. Is that weird at all? I mean, since you're. Also I mean, for playing time. a lot of people think it's weird because we're all competing for playing time. But if you look at our offense, you know, Red's a senior. We play two tights, and we all do like three different things. So we all can be in the game, you know, making plays. So we kind of look at it as, as a group thing, and we just want to be the best tight end group we can be. How would you describe the differences? Um, CT, he's you know he's fast. You know he's one of the faster guys out here. He can get downfield. Randall's athletic. He can get over over a couple DBs, catch the deep ball. I'm bigger. I can run around linebacker and block them along. I could do a lot of things too. So I mean, we were all just talented the guys. So pretty much. It seemed like um, last fall that you guys would always stay after practice uh -huh. to work yeah. on catching the ball. Yeah. Is that something you guys just decided that you wanted to do? Yeah, I mean, if you ask any great players, they always stay after, you know, get a couple extra work in. You can never catch too many balls. You can never run too many routes. So, you know, when the game time comes, it's easy. You know, it's easy to make that catch or make that route. So we just want to come out here and put in the extra work, extra time, and just get better each and every day. What have you learned from uh, – from sort of from mentoring under Rhett? Um, it's to study your plays. You know, if you go and look in Rhett's playbook, he has a ton of notes that he goes over every day, you know, just like just like a class, you know. After we learn it, he goes over briefly every day. And he just he's always up to up to date, up to task. He always knows what he's doing. So just kind of watching him, seeing how he goes through the playbook, it, it makes it easier for us for us to understand how to study it and how to learn stuff. So it's been it's been good to have him in front of us. Is it weird uh, if you look on the offense and so many groups? Don't have enough guys to even practice some days. You're at a group where there's almost too many guys. Yeah, I mean, uh, I look at it like this, you know, there's not, we don't have all that many guys out here and it's just an opportunity for me to get more reps and just get better. I mean, if I look at it as a bad thing, then I'm not in the right place, I'm not doing the right thing. You know, if I'm getting a million reps and that's just, you know, better for me, I'm getting better every day.